um, the book that I'm going to be um, reviewing today is Tender Morsels and it's by Margot, and I don't know, so is it Lanagan? Lanagan? Um, anyway, Tender Morsels by Margot Lanagan and it's published by Vintage Books. It's one of those books that's really tactile, it's got a lovely um, paper cover, just really, really tactile, with a picture of two girls and a bear on the front, which after I read you the description, you're probably going to wonder why. Well, I did anyway, uh, but it all makes sense once you read the book. So um, I'll read you the description on the book. In her inspired reworking of the fairy tale Snow White and Rose Red, Margot Lanigan has created characters that are vivid, passionate, flawed and fiercely devoted to their heart's desires, whether these desires are good or evil. It is a story of two worlds, one real, one magical, and how despite the safe haven her magical world offers to those who have suffered, her characters can never turn their backs on the real world, with all its help, with all its bru oh, with all its beauty and brutality. Um, yeah, as it as it says, the um, there are there are the two worlds, the one real, one mag magical, and um they are both the same world but are different um, and they run kind of um, parallel to each other as they as the book goes on and um, it's one of those books where um, where you know the two the, the, the two worlds are kind of running side by side and you kind of think uh, um, at any minute now it's going to cross over and it does um, and it's kind of you know, you're reading the book and it's not till kind of like you get to that point in the book where it kind of all makes sense. Well, that's how it was for me anyway. Um, I was, as I was reading it, I was kind of thinking, okay, don't really get that bit, don't really get that bit. I'm sure it's going to make sense. Keep going, keep going. And it did. It all made sense when you got to the end. Um, it was a fairly easy going read. Um, I found it quite a pleasant read. Um, there are some... There is some instance in it where um, sort of some some um, I'm trying to without giving a spoiler. Um, there are some parts of the book where some not very nice things happen, but it's not it's not. She hasn't it kind of gone into really great detail about that. It's kind of um, a lot of it is kind of left to your own imagination, so you can kind of fill in the gaps and you can kind of know what's going on. So it's not very graphic, shall we say, um, but it is quite clear what is going on in the book. Um, and when I first started reading the book, I kind of I was a bit shocked to begin with, and I couldn't really see, I couldn't really see what relevance it had to the book, and I was a bit kind of, <gasps> oh, okay, and I thought I was going to give up reading because. I wasn't really sure if it was the book kind of book that I would have liked to have read, but I, I, I was fully prepared to give it a really good go, and I carried on reading. And um, the horrific stuff site kind of goes. Um, it doesn't do that anymore, but it's actually needed for you to kind of appreciate the rest of the rest of the book. Um, so if you're going to read it, you kind of just need to get past that first bit if it's not really for you. Um, as I said, it was a pleasant read, quite an easy going read, and um, I won't say that it was really gripping. I wasn't kind of like, oh, I've got to read the next bit, got to read the next bit, got to read the next bit. I wasn't, it wasn't really gripped like that, but part of it was I really need to find out what, what does happen. So yeah, it was, a, it was a pleasant read and quite a sort of fairly quick read, even though it's kind of a chunky book. It is, let me see, let me see, let me see. Can't find the page numbers. It is 486 pages long, so it's quite a thick book, um, but not too, not too grueling. Um, and yeah, it's kind of for a lot of the time. I was kind of I wanted to know what happened, but I spent a lot of the book not really kind of it not necessarily making sense to me until it all clicked together at the end. So it's one of those books that you do need to persevere with if you're not really. If you're not really digging it at the beginning just kind of try and keep persevering so because it is it is quite um, an easy read and it is quite pleasant in the end um i was really disappointed with the ending though it was a nice ending don't get me wrong it was a really nice ending but i kind of felt like the author had said all she wanted to say and then it fizzled out that's just my opinion it kind of felt like it it fizzled out a bit to me but it was kind of 
I got to the end and it was still kind of really going and I was like, okay, 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 okay. And then I was like, ah, oh, that's, that's, that's the end then. So um, I perhaps would have liked a bit more of a dramatic ending, although it is, uh, in true fairy tale storm, it is kind of, and they lived happily ever after. So there we go. One of the things I was a bit confused about, because it says in her reworking of the fairy tale Snow White and Rose Red, I don't actually know what Rose Red is, so excuse my ignorance, but Snow, but Snow White, there was, um, it was almost like it was kind of set in the world of Snow White. For example, there was the wood and there was animals and there was, there was a dwarf and an old lady and they lived in a cottage and so it was kind of like in the world of Snow White, but other than that, I couldn't really see any, any other resemblance. Um, but you know, it's just, as I say, it's just my opinion. But yeah, it was kind of it was a pleasant read. I wouldn't necessarily read it again. It's one of those books that I kind of I've read it and that's it. I'm done with it now. But um, you know, glad I've glad I've read it. I do feel better for reading it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you know, good good read. Um, if you're going on a holiday on the beach and you want something that's kind of gonna see you see you through the you, you know your your beach holiday or something, then yeah. Perfect.